the U.S. Air Force's highly anticipated B-21 Raider bomber, boasting a distinct flying wing shape, successfully completed its maiden flight on Friday, marking a significant milestone in the deployment of a new fleet of long-range nuclear-capable stealth bombers. The first flight took place at Northrop Grumman's facility at the Air Force's Plant 42 in Palmdale, California, under tight security measures. In a surprise move, Air Force leaders did not officially announce the B-21's inaugural flight, but a group of around three dozen aviation enthusiasts and amateur photographers gathered near Plant 42, eager to witness the historic event. The B-21, continuing the legacy of its predecessor, the B-2, exhibited its flying wing design during the unscripted debut. Capable of delivering both conventional and nuclear weapons globally through long-range and mid-air refueling capabilities, the B-21 is a critical addition to the U.S. Air Force's arsenal. The projected cost of each aircraft is approximately $550 million in 2010, translating to about $750 million in today's inflation-adjusted dollars. However, certain cost details remain classified, posing challenges in validating the proposed expenses, as noted in a 2021 Congressional Research Service report. With plans to acquire at least 100 B-21 Raiders, the Air Force aims to phase out older B-1 and B-2 bombers. Operational cost considerations are significant, as the B-1 costs about $60,000 per hour to operate, and the B-2 about $65,000 per hour, according to Pentagon data. And Stefanek, an Air Force spokesperson, confirmed that the B-21 Raider is undergoing flight testing, a critical step managed by the Air Force Test Center and 412th Test Wing's B-21 Combined Test Force. Currently, six test aircraft are in production, utilizing the same line, tools, processes, and technicians slated for the production aircraft. Northrop Grumman secured the contract to manufacture the bomber in 2015, beating out competitors Boeing and Lockheed Martin. The extensive network of suppliers for the B-21 includes Pratt & Whitney, Collins Aerospace, GKN Aerospace, BAE Systems, and Spirit Aerosystems, encompassing over 400 contributors across 40 states. While publicly unveiled in December 2022, anticipation surrounding the B-21's first flight has been building for years. The program is currently in the engineering and manufacturing development phase, with plans to deliver the aircraft to Ellsworth Air Force Base in the mid-2020s. Northrop classifies the B-21 as a sixth-generation aircraft, emphasizing its ability to connect with other aircraft and seamlessly integrate future weapons into its system's architecture. Notably, the B-21 features advanced stealth capabilities with durable, low-observable surface material expected to reduce maintenance needs and decrease operational costs and downtime.